Hey everyone, Shadowlove here, and welcome to the test. So this, I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> let's just let's go right into it. Um, I've been wanting to play this for quite a bit, and I actually, actually, I actually have all three games. Hello. Um. Hmm. Okay. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You'll be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Interesting. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truth in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This test, sorry. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. That makes sense. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience we are about to begin with a series of questions. And provided that you're not sorry, and provided that you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? Yes. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? Yes. Have you ever invented anything? No. Do you believe that you're worthy of someone's time investment? <laughs> no. Honestly, no. I really don't. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yeah. Would you say that you sometimes have trust issues? I, mm, sometimes. Yeah. Would you be alright with living alone forever? Ooh. No. Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? <laughs> nope, not always. Definitely not. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? I do, actually. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Ooh, that's a toughie. Because I love blue, but like... Oh, God. I think I have... I'm looking around my room and I see more black than I see blue. Blue is more like an accent color in my life, I suppose, so no. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yeah. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Mm, am I sure that I want the answers I seek? Yeah, sure, I'm sure. Are you afraid of spiders? Okay, there's the funny thing. I'm not really afraid of tarantulas, <laughs> but I'm afraid of like the tiny little spiders. Cause like, I have a, oh God. I hate the tiny spiders, like the small ones. I don't care about like daddy long legs. I care, I, I like just the tiny little spiders. Like they can get everywhere and like you'll feel it, but you won't be able to see them sometimes. And you're just like, oh god, no, no. 
So yeah, I'm okay. I kind of am. Yes. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? If I knew I would emerge unscathed, would I jump into molten? Yeah, I probably would. It'd take a lot of. It, it, somebody was like, nah, if you jump in there, perfectly fine. Nothing will happen to you. You'll, you'll, you'll get out of there, not even a scratch. I'll be like, all right, cool, let's go. <laughs> jump right in. <laughs> um, would you consider yourself to be fat? Yes. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? I. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't think I do. I, I wouldn't say that I do. So, no. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? Have I ever wished that I could be I have wished at some point that I could be temporarily frozen. At some point in my life, I know I have. This is all very interesting, is it now? Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spelled the name Satan? I was not aware, no. Does that make you uncomfortable? No. Are you good at finding his and, uh, hidden puzzles or clues? Uh, no. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? I mean, kinda. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yeah. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? No, not really. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? No, I, w I wasn't aware. Uh, are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? Nah, not really. Would you consider yourself captivated? Yeah, I'm pretty captivated. Very interesting. Also, I don't have- well, I have some water, but I have a soda, so close enough. Not really, not at all. <laughs> not close enough at all. Anyways. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Um, not exactly, no, not really. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? No. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? Nope. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? A little bit. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in the session? Actually, no, I have not. Um, would you consider yourself to be a patient person? I'm fairly patient, yeah. Do most humans annoy you? Not really, no. Some do, but not most. Do you prefer animals to people? No, honestly, no. Because at least I can have a conversation with people, even if it's like... Like, just, just to be able to talk to somebody and have them respond to me is much better than, like, just, I don't know, talking to an animal and not having a response other than them just looking at me, expecting food. So, no, I don't. Do you believe in magic? Um, I do, yes. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? Um... Yes and no. <laughs> it's an interesting question, but I'm going to go with yes because I do believe that there's some form of firepower and I do believe that everyone is right in their own way in some form. I what I forget what the term for that is, but I'm like both like um that person that believes in the scientific explanation but also believes that everybody is right in their own way, like whatever those two are. I need to look into that again because I don't remember, but Yes. Do you fear death? To be honest, no. I really don't. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? <laughs> yeah. Did you answer that last question 100% honestly? I did, yes. Are you alone? I mean, I have my dogs with me. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count? I don't know. I'm not te Technically, I'm not alone because I have my dogs with me, so no. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's someone, sorry, that there's something watching you, would you believe me? I mean, maybe one of my dogs are watching me, who knows? Yeah, I believe you. Yeah. Have you wondered who I am? A little bit, not too much, but yeah, a little bit. 
Have you had shivers at any point during this session? Um, no. Do you feel like you're being watched? Not at this moment, no. Have you considered quitting this session early? No. Did you drink, do you drink water every day? Uh, definitely not, no. Do you eat at least once per day every day? Every day? At least once per day every day? No, I, I don't, I really don't. Do you realize that there's a high probability that you've missed a plethora of hidden messages thus far? Yeah. Are you wondering what they are? A little bit. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No. Is your favorite number seven? No. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Yes. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? I mean, they're both a fruit. We compare everything to everything. So if you're saying that oranges and apples, like one of them's a fruit and one of them, like the other one is also a fruit. One of them always has seeds in the center and sometimes one of them doesn't have seeds. You're, you're still comparing something to something else. So I don't agree with that. You can't compare oranges to apples. It may not make sense, but like, it makes sense to me like you, you can still compare one thing to another thing even though they might be relatively different that's that's how you compare things like uh venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star did you know that i feel like i did know that at some point but right now i didn't know that now now i do but everyone deserves a second chance do you agree i do agree yes you can do anything you put your mind to do you agree yeah Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No. Mm, no. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? Actually, yeah. Underwater adventures do sound like a fun time. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? No, I did not realize that. Do you wish to be loved? Yeah. Have you ever felt hated? Yes. Do you have any addictions? Probably. Do I? I don't know. Do I? Oh, yeah, think about this. Do I have any addictions? I probably do, and I just don't realize it, but I'm sure there's one thing that I'm addicted to. Do you dislike the color pink? I do not. However, I used to absolutely love it to where child me chose to have a pink room. I don't dislike the color pink. I just wish it was a softer pink and not such a heavy, like, hot pink color. <laughs> so I do not dislike the color pink, though. Does the color gray seem depressing? No, it doesn't. I can see why it would seem that way, but it, it doesn't seem depressing, though. Do you enjoy loud music? Yes, I do. Do you like to dance? Yes, I do. Just not around other people sometimes. Would you consider yourself normal? No. Do you love your parents? I do. Have you ever been lied to? Yes. Many times. Do you get angry often? I kind of do. I just a little bit. I do get irritated with things, which then leads to me being angry about something, but it's yeah i do i hate to say it, but i do do i hold grudges i do yes i sadly i do and I, I i wish i didn't but there are just some things that i just have you ever forgiven someone i have there are just some things that you just can't i just not there are just some things that i can't let go of sometimes and it takes a while before i can fully let go of it have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done but still did it anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever lied? Oh, obviously. Everyone lies, even if it's just a white lie. Have you ever cheated on a test? <clears throat> have I? I'm sure I have. Oh yeah, quarantine time. Quarantine time was definitely a time when people were just like, I can just look up the answers, it's fine. <laughs> like, no, that was, yeah. You won't cheat this test. I, I won't. 
Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Honestly? No. I love flowers. I really do. But trees are just... They're something else. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Yeah. Definitely. Do you believe you have psychic powers? <laughs> Honestly, a little bit, yeah. Have you ever seen a ghost? I have not. No. Actually, well... <laughs> I think I have, but ah, uh, damn. Oh well, it's it's too late now. I just I forgot about those moments. Do right, do you dream often? I do. Yes. Do you have nightmares often? Not often. No. I rarely have nightmares. No. Um. Yeah, I rarely have nightmares. I don't have nightmares often. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? I do not, but I have had an anxiety attack before, maybe once or twice, but I... Um, is this question asking, do I suffer from anxiety attacks like frequently, or is it just have I... No, it would have just said, have you suffered from anxiety attacks? I don't, I don't, so no. Do you suffer from depression? A little bit yeah do you exercise often and stay active no i need to get better about that but no is there a particular type of food that you despise yes would you consider yourself emotionally wounded yeah have you ever felt betrayed many times have you ever felt lost in life or sorry do you ever feel lost in life <laughs> yeah yeah i do uh would you consider yourself a natural leader no if you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? No. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? No. Have you ever been bullied? Yes. Have you ever bullied someone else? I'm sure I have. At some point. And I just don't realize it, but I'm sure I have, so... I'm gonna go with yeah, I have to. I can't. Like, I'm sure there's been some one, at least one person that I said something and I like counted as bullying, I guess. I don't know. There had to have been one time. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? Yeah. You sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally. I, yes, I'm very blunt sometimes. I tend to be very blunt. So that tends to get people's heal it for, <laughs> that tends to hurt people's feelings. And I don't mean to, it's just, I just say things and it happens, so. Do you find space fascinating? I do. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? No. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? No. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. Absolutely. Have you ever fantasized about being a supervillain or performing a heinous, egregious crime? I mean, being a supervillain. Uh, yeah, I have. Supervillain, yes, performing well, not heinous or egregious crime, but, like, crimes, yeah. But supervillain, that sounds fun. I don't know. Do you believe in perfection? I do not, no. Have you ever stolen from someone? I mean, I'm pretty sure I've stolen a pencil one time from somebody. <laughs> Have I? I think I... <laughs> Sometimes I'd mess with people at school, like my friends, and I'd just be like, i just yoink their stuff, hide it, and then just wait till they notice it. Sometimes they don't notice, and sometimes they do. It's really funny, but... I have. Um, would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Okay. Let me think about this. If it was like a situation where, like, I'm thinking life or death situation. I have a gun. I can either kill the killer the killer has a gun on, on me or my friend, and, my, and the killer's just like, all right, either you shoot them or I shoot them and you. And I'm just like, all right, I got this. And then I just do a quick shot to the killer. Yeah, I would. I'd do the quick shot to the killer. Just be like, Bleh! even if I die, like, whatever. <laughs> They'd be more focused on me than my friend. My friend can get away. Boom. Problem solved. Easy. So, yeah, I would. I don't know why I chose that scenario, but that's the scenario I chose. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I would not. 
Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? Ooh, have I? I don't think so, no. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? To an extent. Everybody, everyone I meet has a certain level of trust that I have for them. And when I get to know them, when I get to know them, it either goes up or it goes down. So I have some sort of trust for you. So, yes. Do you know who I am? No. Well, I know who you are. Cool. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? I'd probably jump, but I'd be like, hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> I'd, I'd jump a bit. I'd, like, flinch or something. I don't know. But I wouldn't scream. I don't... I don't usually, well, I wouldn't say I don't usually scream. Sometimes I do, but it's it's not as frequent as it used to be. So I would not scream, no. If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? No? I'd just be like, hey, yo, can you give me a massage? <laughs> Sorry. Of course not. That would be silly, now, wouldn't it? Would it be? I don't know. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Yeah, a little bit. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? Not really, to be honest. No. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I have not, no. I've never been in a physical fight. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? Headaches, yeah. Migraines, I probably had two um, within the past three years, I think migraines within the past three years i believe i've had a lot of headaches in my life i'm i'm fairly young do you look at the ground when you walk sometimes i do yes are you attracted to the opposite sex yes i am would you ever shave your head i have shaved my head actually the side of my head so yes are you attracted to muscular bodies to an extent yeah do you ever dance when no one is looking? All the time. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Yeah. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? No. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? Would I though? I always talk about like, oh yeah, if I do this, I can rob a bank. Like if I could turn invisible, I could rob a bank. Or if I, I can steal from a store. Would I actually do it though? Like, that may be where my mind goes to initially, because I'm just like, oh, yeah, cool, you can do this. And, like, that's one example of something you can do, but, like, there's so many other things you can do. I just, that's the first one that comes to mind, but would I actually do it? To be honest, I really don't think I would. So, I'm gonna have to go with, uh, no. <laughs> do you ever dream about running from a killer? I have dreamt about running from a killer before, yes. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? I, yes, I, yes. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? I don't think I've ever had that dream before, no. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Oh god, yes, I do. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? I do. Yes, yes, I do. I don't know why I said that so excitedly. Do you like being the center of attention? I do not, actually, to be honest with you. I really don't. Do you like feeling... Sorry, do you feel like someone is always watching you? No. N no. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? I have, yes. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? I have, yes. Have you ever punched a nun? No. <laughs> Just never punched a nun. No, I've never punched a nun. Do you like dogs better than cats? I'm biased towards dogs. I have like six or seven of them. I think six. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? No. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you've ever punched a nun? A little bit, yeah. Do you get starstruck easily? No, no, I don't. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? I don't hate it. 
I said yes. God. I'm... Mm. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. Okay, well... Is your favorite part of birthday receiving presents? No. Seriously, though, have you ever punched none? Like, really? Just bam! Right in the face. None punch. <laughs> no. <laughs> I kind of want to. I did laugh, yes. Did you say what the fuck in your head or even aloud? In my head, I did, yeah. Are you not eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch a nun sometime soon? <laughs> yeah, kinda. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Yeah. Party in hell, baby. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? I do. I answered two of those questions incorrectly. Do I... <clears throat> No. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? No. Is your mouth dry? A little bit, yeah. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? Hell yeah. Are you poor with money management? Yeah, I kind of am. Choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. <laughs> 69. Sorry. Um. I gotta go 13. Uh, choose one of these colors that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Red. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Liked. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Divine. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Strength. Um, do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Sometimes, yeah. Do you speak more than one language fluently? Fluently? Not really, no. I speak Spanish, but not, not that fluently. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? Yes, I think so. Pretty sure I have, yes. Uh, do you enjoy coffee? I do. I love coffee. Do you believe in demons? I do, yes. Do you believe in angels? Yeah. Are you afraid of sharks? No. Do you prefer baths over showers? No. I love a good bath, but I don't prefer them over showers. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? No. Do you see a shadow? Did you see a shadow move in your room a few, mo few moments ago? I mean, technically, because there's, like, the shadow of my little tassel that's moving because of the wind in here. Or not the wind, the air in here. So, I mean, technically, yes. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, it's just the little tassel on my, whatever. Um, Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? Yeah, sometimes. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? I have, yes. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Knocking noises? No, not knocking noises. Footsteps, yeah, knocking, no. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Sometimes, sometimes, yes. Um, fairly often. Uh, have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? Hmm. <laughs> Bringing back memories of when I had sleep paralysis that one time. Yes, I did feel that. And it was weird. It was like they pulled me, um, up through the, the foot of the bed. Do you have any pets? I do. Is your favorite color green? No, it's not. Are you attracted to a family member? No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yes. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you cut the role? No. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? 
Yeah. You like fishing. I've never been fishing, so I... Uh, I feel like I wouldn't. Like, I like being out in the sea, but, like, I just... I wouldn't just like sitting there doing... Like, just waiting, you know? I mean, yeah, you can make some great conversations there, but I've... I don't think... <laughs> I don't think I'd like it very much, to be honest. In Minecraft, I like fishing, but... In real life, probably not. Do you like hunting? Again, in Minecraft. Sure, but in real life, I probably wouldn't, no. Do you like camping? I've never been camping. <laughs> but I know I would like it. I've been, like... I've been school camping, but I don't count that as, like, genuine camping. I've never been, like, actually camping. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure I would like it. Do you like guns? <laughs> I mean, in games. Again. In games, I do, like... Yeah, but... I feel like in real life, I wouldn't really... I don't... I don't really fuck with it. Are you getting tired of answering questions? No. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? <laughs> A little bit. Um, eyes are the window to the soul. Do you agree? Yeah. Do you always keep your promises? I try to, but no. Would you ever be... Blah, 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 sorry. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? No. Are you an only child? No. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? I have never been drunk. I don't think I'd enjoy it, so no. Do you like tattoos? I do like them, yes. I wouldn't get one, like a real one, but fake ones, sure. I like the look of tattoos. I just don't want the permanence or the pain of getting it. Do you enjoy being high in any form? Never been, but I doubt I'd like it. I don't know. Um, do you believe you have a soul? <laughs> My soul's been long gone. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yes, I do. Did you cry this week? <laughs> I did, yes. Are you upset with someone right now? I am, yes. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? Does myself count? Because <laughs> sometimes I'm not completely honest with myself. Um, Probably, honestly. Yeah. Do you understand how this works yet? I just answer questions. I think so. Yes. Do I? I don't know. Do I? Yes. If you answer the question twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them and the combination in, and the combination you answer them in. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's about many different variables you'd never guessed. Understand? Yes. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? Kind of, actually, yeah. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this as just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe in that? No. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Yes. Are you afraid of dying alone? No. Yes. Am I? I don't think so. No. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No. Are you always on guard waiting to fend off an attack? No. Nope. Do you feel like I know you yet? No. Have you ever heard... Sorry, have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? I mean, my dog's scratching on my door. That's not really a strange noise, though, so no. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. People would do really well s to start talking to you a bit more seriously and listening to you a lot more often. Your intelligence is incredibly underrated even by your own standards. <sighs> okay. If a zombie apocalypse were to ever occur, you'd be everyone's best friend because their relationship with you wouldn't be an option. It would simply be a necessity to survive. Interesting. Okay. 
You have so much to offer this world and those around you, but you absolutely must make your talents and knowledge readily available. People are often too afraid to ask you for your opinion at times. Even when they do, they're afraid of your truth. You're not like others. You're special. Not everyone is going to cut... Sorry. Not everyone is going to cut it in this life, and that's an unfortunate fact. But you... Now you, on the other hand, are going to thrive no matter what happens. You've got what it takes to take any project to the next level, whether it's working on your own or as part of a team. You're underrated. You're underappreciated, and you're often misunderstood. It's not fair, but life isn't fair, and it, will, and it never will be. Life will always be what you make it, and you've got some insane amounts of potential. Ultimately, it's up to you what you decide to do with it. One thing I will say, however, is that you need to snap out of the false reality that you tend to live in sometimes. The world you've managed to escape to in your head, while much better than the world around you, is not going to get you anywhere in life. Actions are what make things happen. Actions will take you to the next level, not just sitting in your head all day long. Let this be a swift kick in the ass you need to be productive and take things to the next level. Don't waste any more time. Just kick ass and allow yourself to be successful. Sorry. Just kick ass and allow yourself the successful life you deserve. Your secret word is order. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Okay. Interesting. Fascinating. Well, I enjoyed that. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we are currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of the history. This is a chance for you to be part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be part of an un sorry. If you do not wish to be part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we will always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test Hypothesis Rising, the test Final Revelation, and the Testing Chamber on Steam. If you've enjoyed the, this installment, you can also find the Journey series, the Advisor series, which we'd encourage everyone to try. The Testing Chamber, interesting. If you'd like to support us further or try our other games, you can find a link to all of our titles in the title screen of this game under this section, Our Other Games. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you. I really enjoyed that. That was very nice. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought down below. If you guys want to play it for yourself, it is on Steam. It is the test. I am going to do the test hypothesis rising and the... Um, what was the other one that was mentioned? I don't know if this is going to take me to the games on Steam or not, but the there was a third the test, and then there was the testing chamber, which I will look into because I did not hear about that one, so I will actually go and take a look after I finish this recording. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, again, let me know. Stay tuned, subscribe, go ahead and check out my other videos, and um, if you guys have any suggestions for any games, Leave it down in the comments below. I'll check it out. If I can play it, I'll play it. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Gonna put you in my shadow now. Never gonna see the light of day. Baby, you know I'm taking over this town. Gonna have it on my way.